This video will show you how to install DL3 small mirrors on your 2014 to 2018 GM 1500 truck or 2015 to 2019 GM 25 or 3500 truck. DL3 mirrors are equipped with the turn signal on the glass, the puddle light on the bottom, and are also equipped with power folding. Prior to installation, be sure to disconnect the negative terminal of the battery. The door panel removal procedure is detailed in great depth in a separate Boost Auto Parts video. If you require explanation on how to remove the door panel, please reference that video which will be linked in the description below. This video is primarily showing you how to perform the wiring functions. Now to remove this door jam connector, there's a little plastic latch at the top that holds it on. So begin by just depressing down with a flathead screwdriver and that will release that. You can go ahead and pull it back. And then to release this connector from the door jam, there's a little pink latch. You just need to slide that back 90 degrees. And then once it's 90 degrees back, the connector will just unplug from the door jam. Remove the door speaker. There's just one seven millimeter bolt holding it on. And then you can just kind of pull back on it. It may be a little bit sticky. If it is, you can take a flathead screwdriver, just kind of break it loose a little bit. And once it comes, just pull straight up. That will show on the back. There's a connector right over here. You can just go ahead and depress the latch and the connector will come undone. Release the harness with the trim clip and set the speaker to the side. Unplug the mirror connector by depressing the latch. Then release this from the door utilizing a trim tool and push this grommet down into the door and we're just going to bring these connectors down through the speaker hole to work with so we can modify them. Push this rubber door boot in over here into the door itself. Push it into the door and then push the entire connector down into the door itself as well. And you're just going to want to pull that straight down out here. Shown here is the Boost Auto Parts modified door harness kit being installed with the harness in the door. You can see we are simply time lapsing it here to show you that it can be done in the door. However, we will show it to you on the bench just for purposes of videoing. Included here is a wiring diagram that you can screenshot and print out. Locate the black mirror mating connector that the mirrors originally plugged into and pull the tape back a little bit from it. That way you can get access to the cavities. Unlock the white latch on the black mirror mating connector. You can use a 90 degree pick. There's two little cutouts. You can just pry up on it. And that white latch will come up just a hair. If you're having issues getting it to come up, you can go in through one of the empty slots and just pry up and that will get the white lock to pop up. You can see this is with the white lock unlocked. The white lock is not fully removed, it just comes down slightly. The modified door harness kit does come with everything for both sides. In this case we just have one side laid out on the bench here. You will not use the white wire so begin by removing it from the loom and setting it to the side it is not used in this application. We're going to begin by inserting wires into the black mirror mating connector. Again, making sure you have the white lock unlatched. You're going to locate the male end of the wires. You can see there is a proper way to insert this. There's a little nub down at the bottom here. That needs to face down towards the white lock. Locate your red wire with blue tracer and place it into slot 13. Slot 13, if you're looking at it from the rear, is in the bottom right hand corner. So you're just going to take that and slide it all the way forward. If necessary, you can use a 90 degree pick to help scoot it in. Locate the blue wire and place it into slot 1. Slot 1 is in the top right hand corner. If you're looking at it from the rear with the white lock facing down towards the rear. Locate the short black wire included in your kit. Insert it into slot 5. Slot 5 is located in the top row one over from the left. Perform a visual inspection to make sure all the pins came through the small slots in the connector. In this case, it is good. 
Using your hand, slide the white lock back into position. If this will not lock down, more than likely your pins are not slid all the way forward. Locate the wire in slot 11. Slot 11 is directly beneath the solid black wire you just inserted into slot 5. Locate that wire in slot 11, in this case it's a solid black wire, and cut it a couple inches back from the black mirror mating connector. Strip both ends of the wire you just cut from slot 11. Strip the end of the wire you inserted into slot 5 from the Boost Auto Parts harness. Take the wire from slot 5 as well as slot 11, twist them together and put them into one end of the butt connector. Crimp the butt connector down. Place the one wire leading into the rest of the door harness into the other side of the butt connector and crimp it down. Apply heat to the butt connector. Using a straight pick or a small screwdriver, carefully poke through this rubber grommet. Send your wires through the hole in the grommet that you just cut. Pull the slag through. Run a firm piece of metal through the boot leading towards the gray door jam connector, then tape your two wires to it. In this case, we're using a straightened out coat hanger. Carefully pull the coat hanger straight up towards the gray door jam connector so that the wires come with it. Remove the wires from your piece of metal. Locate this little pink lock at the bottom of the connector and using a flat blade screwdriver press up on it. It will move slightly which will allow the pins to be inserted. Now you want to guide your wires up through the pink lock. Make sure you are not on the outside of it. So we'll guide the wires straight through this middle hole here on the lock. We're going to be entering these terminals into the gray door jam connector. The orientation of the terminals is very important. The crimp needs to face down towards the pink lock. Take your red wire with a blue tracer and insert it into slot 41. These connector pins are labeled. Should slide all the way forward, just like so. These terminals cannot be removed without a special tool, so take extra precaution to ensure you're entering them into the proper location. Then. You're going to take the blue wire and insert it into slot 3. Slot 3 is located all the way down at the bottom, right where the wires enter the connector. Using your finger from the top of the connector, press this pink lock down. Using electrical tape, tape over the harness connecting the wires to the existing harness straight over, right like so. The installation procedure is the exact same for the driver and passenger side. Repeat the procedure on the opposite side. In order to get the power folding feature working properly, you will need to replace your switch with a proper power folding switch. Boost Auto Parts does offer this switch. Now if you need to switch from a non-power folding switch as seen here to a power folding switch, you'll need to remove this bezel. To do that, you'll four seven millimeter bolts, one here, 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 and here. We'll go ahead and take those out. Now to remove this bezel, that you're gonna have your one retaining arm right there, you just need to pry it off of that and the entire thing will come up. To remove these connectors, you have one lock right here. You'll unplug one here. That will unplug. And then on this one, there's a lock. So you'll need a pick, pull this red lock back, and then depress the pin and it will unplug. Now to remove this mirror switch, you wanna just put steady pressure down with this hand. And it's just held, with, held on with these retention clips. I'm just gonna kinda of pry while pressing, and then you'll do that on both sides, and the switch will just come out. Now we'll just take our new power folding switch, put it in, and it'll just snap right into place. Now we'll go ahead and plug back in all of our switches. Make sure you slide the red lock back on that one. Now to put it back on, make sure that this clears this retention arm right here. 
and just line everything right back up. Now we're gonna put back in the four seven millimeter bolts, the one here, 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 and here. Be careful not to over torque these. Reinstall all parts in the reverse order. Boost Auto Parts does have a more thorough door panel reinstallation video available on our YouTube channel if you need further information. However, it is basically the exact opposite process of the removal procedure. Then, line up the gray door jam connector with the mate in the cab. Once it's lined up and pushed together, you can slide the pink lock 90 degrees forward and all the way up, and that should lock it into place. Once done, latch the black connector, then slide the top together and it will latch on. Once complete, do not forget to reconnect the negative battery terminal. To get all the parts and accessories shown in this video, as well as other parts and accessories for your truck or SUV, check out our website at BoostAutoParts.com.